Hello there, ladies and gents. It is I, Mr. Emo Raccoon, and welcome back to our Grand Theft Auto 5 playthrough. We are currently on episode 7 of the Grand Theft Auto 5 playthrough, and in this episode, we are finally, finally, once and for all, we're gonna start getting back to the main story. So, for those of you that have been watching along the whole series so far, you'll know that the last two episodes we've done have pretty much just been nothing but, like, extra stuff. We've been doing, like, extra story missions and things like that that... You know, you don't need to do for 100%, but we've been doing them to try to get some extra money on Trevor. So last episode, we ended up doing uh, Maud's Bail Bondsman missions, and then in the episode before that, we did the Altruist Camp with Trevor. And now I would like to say we have a pretty comfortable amount of money on T, so I think now we can finally get back to actually doing the main story mission. So in this episode, we're going to do every single main story mission up until Fame or Shame, just so we can unlock Trevor and Michael, or not Trevor and Michael, just so we can unlock Franklin and Michael again, my apologies. So this is probably going to be a pretty long episode, but again, if you guys do enjoy this series, make sure to drop a like down below. And uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and start the next mission. I forgot the name of this one. Trevor, you're still banned. What about these two? Oh, it's TP Whoever industry. Wins, okay, okay. Gets banned. <laughs> He's one. Ban him. I have a video. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I oh. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Understood. You're not going to find bodies out of me because uh, I'm not in a necrophilia like some people. Yes, Mr. Chang. Pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other. Mr. Tao Chung is uh, pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. What's wrong with him? I'm out. No, don't go. Please, I beg you. If you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't. But we hear that Trevor Phillips Corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out, we partner, make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing! Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. And he'll humbly show you the operation. It just sucks that more or less, I mean, the Aztecas that screwed us over. But it's also Trevor's fault in the first place anyway, you know what I mean? Jeff, we're just coming down to see the kitchen. Well, you can't get here quick enough, or take us on his way with some friends. Says he's gonna take us out of business. Funny that. I told him the same thing just the other day. Get here, and you can sell it between you two. Now that phone call would have actually been different had we killed Ortega uh, sure, when we first played as Trevor. If we would have killed him, uh, it would have just been the rest no, of the no, Aztecas Mr. coming Chang to kill Senior Trevor because we killed specific. Ortega, as opposed he to Ortega bringing the rest of the Aztecas to take out our business. So that's just some interesting fact we all know. I'm worried that might dilute what our operation's all about. Shit, Trevor, we ain't got long. Whoa, 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 whoa. manner, chef. These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. <laughs> Cheng and his humble servant. Hey, Lao uh, Shung. <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right. Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on. Nice, right? Oh, <laughs> Apple room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! No. So bomb. Tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, chef. Help me! If I knew we were having visitors, what is that, a little spring clean? Or take... A little spring cleaning, he says. All right, then. Oh, 
Jeff, come on! They ran the gates! We gotta deal with them! Where you gonna go? Die, motherfucker! That's it! Nowhere to Now! Right. Trevor, look out on the left! They're getting in! They gotta have the whole crew here! Now I really am gonna put you out of business! Where's the rest of them, eh? Shit, Trevor, find some cover! This is extremely unprofessional! Here, take the 40 mil. Ah, we're not gonna need it just now, but thank you, Chef, for the uh, predetermined assumption of a grenade launcher. Uh, not necessarily, but you know, it's what happens. Let's get to the front. I'll go wherever the fuck I please. Let's move it down there. Come on. Get behind. I'm here. They're coming in. They know their feet. Let's push them off. Screw the Aztecas. Got him. Alright, that was pretty yeah. clean, I'm not gonna Time lie. To recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo! Whoa. Whoa. I think we have seen quite enough. Gaito! Uh, I'll swing by and sign the contracts, alright? Just ignore the bodies. Hey Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! Okay. All right, there we go. Nice, and we even did everything in a timely manner. All right, well, excuse me, Ortega, I'm gonna Why? need you to you kindly hop out the vehicle. vehicle. But yeah, had we have killed him, which is, that's Ortega right there, had we have killed him uh, in the earlier mission that we played, we wouldn't have had to fight him on this mission. It just kind of sucks that even if you leave him alive, you have to, you have to take him out, okay. All right, hold up a second. I uh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to mute the game for a second. Well, okay, I just got the input glitch, so uh, I'll be right back once I restart the game. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, I just got the uh, you know little stupid input glitch that for some reason Rockstar doesn't want to fix. Um, I had to completely restart the game, but that that's fine. I was gonna say before it even happened anyway that this uh, dubsta that the Aztecas bring is actually a different, technically modded dubsta because of the wheel placement on the back. So if you want to, I suggest keeping it if you didn't blow it up in the mission and just going and storing it in Trevor's garage. Plus it actually kind of helps out so we have to start up Nervous Ron anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in our garage and we're gonna move it back there. And uh, yeah, here we go. I'm coming Ron, hush man. You get so nervous out of everything. I guess that's why they call you nervous. What's going Ron. on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home. Damage my soul. This. 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 This statue here of impotent rage. This fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone. And they smashed it. Those pathetic midlife crisis, hog riding, shaven headed, fruity leather, chapped wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor, they are. They're chapped wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45, find him. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. 
Now smile. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. All right? That's better. Run along. <laughs> now, Ron. Shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek! Huh? The fucking cheek of it. Hey, you'll notice how terrified Ron and Wade are of Trevor, even though it's all realistically an upfront field. act. Check it out. If, if any, like, normal NPC or anybody in the game actually has a little bit of confidence and stands up to Trevor, he kind of backs off. Oh, uh, you'll notice. There's a couple examples in the story where his upfront scary attitude is not enough to keep people, like, at bay. I'm not but that's pretty cool. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. They say they support local business. Well, okay, I'll be right back because the game, the game just fucked up for me again. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So, thank you, Rockstar, for continuingly, you know, not patching one of the most bullshit glitches that have ever come into Grand Theft Auto V and making me have to restart the game twice within 15 minutes. I'll come in Thanks. When I, get I appreciate it. I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. You're about to bleed shit, now, hopefully that won't happen yeah, again, because that's highly fucking Brad's annoying. Synergy, huh? Deep. That sniper on your wall looks like it'll do the job. Get that look off your face. I know you sold Cletus' gun and he ain't got three brain cells. Alright, now, this is honestly one of the most fun missions in the game just because of how much you have to do in it, but it does take a little while. Because there's a section on shooting, there's a Run. section on raiding, there's Run. a section on flying, gun. and a section on landing. So this is one of the longest field. missions that isn't a heist. But like I said, it's very fun to play. You know, when the ATV doesn't fuck you over. Obviously. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run! We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them! Yes, we are! I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Hardware's not here yet. I'm coming up. The time is right. Go on, my son. What are you waiting for? Go over there. Get in amongst it. But Trevor... I told you, if they catch you, I'll have you dead before the torture gets too unpleasant. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Here, by the road. You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? I saw a guy by the tower. I shot him. Now keep moving. You're walking like you shot yourself. Move! Okay, now hurry up, Ron, because you're wasting my time as much as you are the audience's time. Shit! On there. I hear an engine! They're gonna see that guy you shot! I already shot the light, so you can calm down. Good. Well, uh, don't shoot the guy in the van until he stops and gets out, okay? Alright, alright, I'll be patient enough. And it would be the video games with no bullet drop-off or, you know, real recoil that would say, yeah, be patient with your sniper rifle. It would be these type of video games. Not to say that I hate them, but it's just ironic. Man wants to pay his respects. You should have seen the look on his face. Wait. And they all came tumbling down. Oh no! Bottom of the tower. Another guy's on his way. Whoo! Down he goes. I got you in my sight, so get a move on and plant that bomb on the gas tank. I'm on it, but there's a guy coming out of that building. I think. Get your sights back on me, Trev! 
I'm scared. Help him secure the airstrip, I'll help him secure the airstrip. No problem. The guy directly behind this crate and I can't see him because he won't move up. There we go. You need to chill out for just a second, thing. All right, now we get to start the most fun part of this. Please load up with crates, Trevor. Just like you said. The rest of the guns must be on the plane down the end of the runway. Now this enemy right here is actually unique, because he won't actually fire a bullet unless you shoot at him directly. So watch this. Think he gets shredded. There we go. Get me to my plane, Rod. Nah, not yet, but he'll let go on his own. You don't have to do that roll. You just hold up high enough. And there he goes. Fine, I feel safe. So, who might this buyer be? There's only two places this kind of hardware is gonna go. And they are? Up north to our Canadian cousins, where the lost were likely to be sending them. Or? Or other neighbors, those in the south, our Mexican brethren. Why would you make an assumption like that? It's obvious. Why is it obvious? Spell it out for me before I order you to fly that plane into a mountain. Um, well, because of where you used to operate. Weren't you pulling scores in North Yankton and running cargo over the border? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure I will. Funny how Trevor thinks that Ron's trying to pull some racist bullshit just because of his Canadian accent. <laughs> All right, and that's three of them. So we got to do three more, and then we'll get the uh, achievement. That's for him. Let's do it. Military base coming up. Fly low. We don't want to show on the radar. I get the whole fly low to not, sh you know, show on like the aerial radar and things like that. But if you're flying this close to a military base like this, regardless, 
of how low you're flying, you would get spotted and instantly questioned. Just saying. Take out the packages! Shipment successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. All right, under bridge number four. I gotta do two you more. Really do that to me, would you? Beat me and you'll see. Uh, I ain't a trained Air Force pilot like you. I can just about get where I'm going, but I don't got much choice over whether it's fast or slow. Then get better at it, or fly through a barn. Well, would a barn slow me down? Yeah, it might do. Or it might kill you instead. I'm just gonna fly normal. They're braver than I thought. Blow over the swamp, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that. Awesome. There we, we go. That's one of the hardest Oscar's bridges to get thing, under. But leave that to me, Ron. There I'm goes sure Ortega's trailer this. from the last mission. Pays better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right. All right, then. Let's come in for that smooth, buttery smooth landing. There we go. All right. Couldn't have been any smoother if I tried. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But... There is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now, because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, Unstoppable! Oh, that's right! Now go! I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both. That's just every man on a Sunday evening when he hasn't got anything better to do. <laughs> Why not both? Fuck it. Alright, cool. So now we have the ability to purchase properties throughout the game. Conveniently enough for us, we're not going to purchase any property. Because we don't need to, right? We will later for 100%. But for right now, we're going to save Trevor's money. Now, you can make back the 150000 you put into the hangar uh, just by doing the regular missions. You can make that back pretty easily. But I think, I waste, I think I'm going to waste too much time buying it now. And it would just be better if I wait and just buy the stuff uh, or buy these properties for 100% as opposed to buying them for the money aspect. There will be one property we buy for the money aspect, but, but that won't come up until we unlock Michael later. Cool, 62,000, and now we're close to half a million. Hey, I got everything except for the mission time, but that's just because of cutscene. Yep. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, then. So, the next mission is going to be Crystal Maze, and we need to actually do one, one thing. We're going to fly this plane over to... Uh, Trevor's newly acquired hangar because since doing that mission we actually unlocked the hangar over there and we can now keep it Yep, there we go. Trevor's taking ownership of the Los Sandy Shores airfield. This location contains storage for planes and helicopters. Cool! So now we can actually keep whatever plane we steal and then we can also keep uh, any other helicopters we want to steal. So for now, because we're not going to buy any planes, let's just keep uh, let's just keep this one. Mainly just because I like the color red, but also just to, to have a plane. You know what I mean? 
and then we'll start up Crystal Maze, and then once we start that mission up, I think, I think we only got one more mission after, well, two more missions after that, I think, but I could be wrong. All right, let's begin Crystal Maze. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash, hillbilly, Wallace. You're damn right. <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Why, Jaho? Why, Yeah, we will bang me. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Chang's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer. And, and, and That's a little bit of exaggeration trader. to kind of make them change That's their mind. Million. Let's make this happen. I'm very and sorry. that's his way of being sorry. nice up until they kind of just say no You're again to which sorry. then I Trevor's like my fucking guts out to you and you say to me you're sorry who are you working with hmm huh? who I'm not at liberty to say oh no 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 you're at fucking liberty in fact I'd say you are obliged <laughs> who fucking who 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 the O'Neill brothers the O'Neill brothers huh yeah you shitting me no, because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem since one of them's going to have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them. <laughs> Trevor being visibly pissed off screw at that, I don't you. blame him. Screw you, screw you, screw you. All right. Now I know the game will automatically call O'Neill oh, for us, so uh, Elwood O'Neill, but let's see if we can call him ourselves. Okay, no, no, no. The game's just gonna call him, or he's gonna call Trevor us. Trevor Phillips, Elwood O'Neill. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Trevor, it's business. That wide-eyed idiot was mine. It's business, fella. You want to discuss it? We're at the bar. Ernie, Earl, Walton, Wynn, Dale, Doyle, Daryl, Dan, all of us. Start writing those names on tombstones, because I'm on the way to your lab, and we're going to see how much of a family meth business you got when I'm done. Mm. All of you are going to die. Now, I understand that technically they thought it was business, but, I mean, in the criminal underworld, there is a thing as business, but there's no legality behind doing business. While the, the concept of business does exist in the criminal underworld, the laws behind it, they don't exist. So, I mean, if you take another business's opportunity, more or less, and kind of just go under their wing and steal it from them, basically, I mean, that organization, no matter how small, is going to have some... Some, some very not nice things to say to you. They're going to come after you. Minus the fact that this is Trevor, but imagine if it was, like, a bigger organization. If the O'Neills had stolen it off of GTA's version of, like, the cartel, for example. They would be wiped out so fast that they would be nothing more than a distant memory. I just spoke to that maniac Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, I'm 
many brothers you got, you inbred freaks. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. All right, then. So I'm going to take these guys out right there. That counts for another version of it. that guy out up there. Take this one out here. And for these two right here and for this guy right here, you can either shoot them as well or you can let them go. Because eventually once they move those, uh, those barrels right behind the house, they're actually going to hop in this van and kindly... Nice way to put it. They're going to kindly escort themselves out. See, they stop it. They start moving. And it just leaves uh, that brother right there alive. So, we're going to watch him get in the van and just... Mm, you leaving? I guess I'll have to see you later then. All right, there they go. Gonna wait for them to kindly drive that way. All right, they're far enough away. Headshot. And headshot. All right. Now we can make our way into the uh, O'Neill Brothers farmhouse. Alright, so I'm now they know we're coming. You. Alright, now we're gonna blow this motherfucker to the ground. Everything you've built, see how it feels. Burn, you disrespectful pricks! All right, now we should probably get the hell out of here. All right, cool. We actually got every single uh, check mark. Nice. <laughs> All right, then. Now, this next mission is the final mission uh up until you know fame or shame obviously this next mission is going to be friends reunited but before we start friends uh reunited we're going to go over to the hospital and pick up the free we're going to go pick up the free armor drop just so we have full armor before heading into the because it'll be easier that way now i remember there being another phone call with wade like is there another phone call or do we have to start the mission Wait, 
Okay, there is no other phone call. Because there's a phone call that you can give Wade right after uh, Mr. Phillips, which unfortunately I did not include uh, when we were playing Trevor. But I was wondering to see if there was another phone call we could do before starting this. But it would appear that there is not. Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you wasn't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut up asked... before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I looked through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money! And tidy my shit up. Let's go. Wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Yes, Wade. We will stop for ice cream. Um. So, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's the stop? Ice cream? If it was me Where driving, it would be ice cream. In Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bunked in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's the stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um... I got my big eyes, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes. Another chapter of the lost has descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to... Yeah, they, they may not be welcome here, but it's actually smart that Trevor's doing this because he's taken out the last main folks of Lost before leaving because he's not going to be there to protect Ron and Chef. And more or less, he's doing this as a final, like, go fuck yourself to the Lost to make sure they don't come back and attack him again. So what he's doing, although it seems a little pointless, it just seems like adding on to the body count of his already yeah, existent here. Lost body count, this is actually very very smart to do because it prevents them from thinking yeah let's let's go try and kill him again you know what i mean plus after this apart from the few stragglers that are left the lost don't actually really come after trevor after this those are my gifts for these pricks Now that now what they're talking about right there, they're actually referencing the Lost and Damn DLC from GTA 4. But them saying that Billy, the original uh, Lost chapter president, being a snitch was false, it's not. He was a snitch.
Oh. Well, that was a complete accident. I didn't mean to uh, blow up that bomb early. I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to uh, blow that bomb up so early. Yeah, well that was my bad guys. I completely forgot that you can't throw the C4 again once you already have one thrown down by hitting left because throwing it is the same button as detonating it. So that's my bad for messing up the stealth. Time to hit the road, lady. But at least the lost won't bother us anymore. That go okay? I heard about your banging and screaming. Like I got knocked the guy Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the lost no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him, the federal government, they pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias? And my dead friend's family? The house I must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? How do you mean any goodbye back, me? Trevor? Lube up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I am about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, please! Don't turn me into anything! I just wanna be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. What? Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. That's it. That giant sprawl. Los Santos. Oh! Get, get, get! Get, get, get! So, this is Rose Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. So, Michael, this is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! And this right here shows Trevor's undying loyalty to his best friends, even if 
His best Santos friends necessarily aren't the, the best people alive. Where else would he be? Flying over in Refugee Beach. Will you tell me the story? Oh, and real quick, boy, ah, this story yeah. that Trevor's whoa, actually whoa. telling right, 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 is right, right. basically so, how him, kid, Michael, and planes. Brad so, uh, met each other in North Yankton. fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt, despair. And just then, just, just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Mich Michelle. A He's talking troll? about Michael, by the way. Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes... He'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side. And he's talking about Amanda. You didn't hear that from me. Wow. With that uh, stripper and troll. She pushed out a pair of little trolls and the big bad That's Jimmy and Tracy who he's talking about now. Soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad. And he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit. And Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the names just change or am I missing something? Shut up! And then the fat, ugly troll came back from the dead. And the news picked it up. Our hero decided to go out looking for him. I'm sort of following it, I think. But what happens in the end? That, Wade, we do not know. But yeah, he more or less just described a brief history version, of course, made into a story for Wade, but a brief history as to what oh. happened in North oh. Yankton. We're near Floyd's house. I seen it on the I find map. I'll give you directions. Now keep going. Go straight on here. I turn right here. It's straight here. This is the place. I think it is at least. Cousin Floyd. It's up here, Trevor. Floyd, it's me, Wade. Who? Me, Wade, your cousin. Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you, Wade. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Nevelyn's bed. A guy would never prove. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. Yeah, and as you can see from Floyd, unfortunately, he doesn't have a lot of self-confidence, so he kind of gets pushed around by Trevor. He tries to be assertive in saying, like, well, you guys can't stay here, it's my girlfriend's place, but he isn't, he doesn't have any, uh, he doesn't have any self-confidence. Yeah, alright, I messed up the stealth, and I messed up, like, getting all five consecutive, but it, it, it's fine. Fine, mistakes happen. Anyway. Hey, we're now able to switch between Michael, Franklin, and Trevor, but we got one more mission to do. Before we do that now I'm pretty sure you can call Ron here Trevor you called no shit what's happening my ex-wife called me again man there is nothing worse in this world than an ex-wife perpetual reminder of life's mistakes a dreadful mistake she's thinking of suing me again for what you live in a trailer. She heard my radio show. If she heard your radio show, 
She should pity you, not sue you. <laughs> That's nice, Trevor. No, Ron. It's not. It's unkind, but it's also true. Your ex-wife was a bitch! I did you the favor of a lifetime when I scared her off. You did. You really did. If after 12 years of happy marriage, one simple threat of dismemberment was enough to send her running, well, <laughs> I don't know. And she was having an affair. We proved that. You're right, Trevor. She wasn't committed enough. Exactly, Ron. Now get back to fucking work, all right? What are you yabbing at me for? All right, so yeah, that's one of the another one of the phone calls we can actually get. Oh, and we actually get some new outfits for uh, unlocking this. Sorry, right, but we're gonna put Trevor back in his regular outfit, and we're gonna start the final mission for today, Fame or Shame, which we can just uh, easily start by just switching to money. It'll start it instantly. Is that yours? Of course not. I have only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk, or you're staring miserably at the clouds, or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh, yeah. I've done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park, got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you gotta worry about anymore is what part of your body you want to have chopped off or sucked out again? Screw you, Michael. Ah, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh, is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga. Did someone say yoga? Oh, hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Mikhail. Namaste. Hmm. Nama, go fuck yourself. Michael! <laughs> You've got to work on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, hey, tell me about it. Ah! There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Mm, yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, huh? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward Notice how Michael's pushing Jimmy behind him because he's uncertain about what Trevor bro. wants and or will do. One of those, it's showing he's got some dedication to protecting his kids even if he hates his family at this game. And then run off with the dough and then live in the big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. Witness protection for what? No one was convicted of anything. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. <sighs> Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, uh, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come. She might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? 
Yeah, we. What, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! And you can see with that tone direction and Michael's uh, eye right there that even though he's still uncertain about going with Trevor under any circumstances, even he took a second thought at that and was like, yeah, maybe I should go save my daughter. Like, outside of trying to make you know, sure that like Trevor won't kill him myself. for more or less we'll mistreating his family. A beer in a few hours, catch up properly. I'm good, homie. She's my daughter. I'll handle it. Judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family, fuck only knows what that means. See, hey, even Trevor's aware you. of it. Yeah. You're a model husband and a wonderful parent. You can just tell. You walk into my home and try to tell me how to run my life. It don't work like that, amigo. It's nice to see you and all, but you stink like piss. You got blood under your nails and you look like you've been up for what? A week? Who the fuck are you to tell me anything? I'm someone who knows you, you fucking slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not abandoning her like you did me and Brad. Yeah, Brad. Poor motherfucker must have woke up handcuffed to a hospital gurney after that stunt of yours. He still writes to me from the joint, you know. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, see, even Michael doesn't know about doing? the emails that oh, Dave's been writing I'm to him, so by. he's kind of surprised it's to see like Trevor, number one, reference him, but also Living just be like, Really? You're getting emails okay. from him. So where? Interesting. Sandy Shores, the Alamo Sea. Ah, I hear it's nice there. It's fucking beautiful. I mean, we ain't got the tennis courts, the golf links, all the pumped up plastic sluts you're used to out here, but, well, you know, it'll do. Yeah, well, you know, I'd ask you to stay, but. Yeah, don't worry. All right, I got somewhere to crash while we work things out. With actual friends. We got things to work out. <laughs> yes, sirree. They do have things to work out too. Michael just doesn't realize it. This has gotta be it. The maze bank. Let's go in. Here we go. Come on. You can't park there. Production vehicles only. <coughs> ah! Yeah, about that. No, we we can park here. Holy shit! Come on, you dipshit. Ah, that host, man. He's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Huh? Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? It doesn't matter. <laughs> all right yeah that was really all right it's the auditions fame or shame season 14 right here in vinewood san andreas coming up next it's tracy de santa judges tracy de santa yes <laughs> hi all right tracy's a dancer but she also likes acting modeling and working with children that's that's beautiful you're so original like oh. a, a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke oh. who are these clowns that's my dad and trevor two dads uh, <laughs> great wow. very san andreas what are you guys doing here yeah what are you uh, doing here okay i'm back relax chill make yourself at home he's got a little show to do here okay three two one all right it's fame or shame for tracy de santa music see even michael's kind of just looking at it like are you serious and he's thinking and he's thinking he wants to stop this but he can't up until this point Truck. 
Get in the truck, Michael! I got a deposit on that truck! It went left! We're running that prep down. Be careful! How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. Even if, it, even if Michael's being sarcastic, Trevor's way. right about that. Well, great. I'm about to die because of a TV show that nobody watches anymore. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road. Look, he went left. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a racer. Look at him. He's on the train tracks. We can have a little fun with him. But let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen to him? We gotta go to the left. I knew this city would be full of douchebags. Can we speed it up a little, huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. What? Head right up here. Right, right here. Can't get enough of the celebrities, can you? Ten fucking minutes at LS. Shut up! That cocksucker might be famous, but oh. We'll get him. We'll get him. But we're sure taking our time about it. Ha ah, ah, ha! It's going down into the LS River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never fun. The little shit's all out of juice. Hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now, I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, All right. What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, oh, lower, no. come on. Oh, please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, please, come on, no. get up. No. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. All right, and that concludes that arc of Trevor being the only playable character. Hey, we got it. Nice. Awesome.
All right, now there's actually a lot of phone calls that we can do uh, after this mission, so I'm gonna try to get them all. Uh, the first one is to Tracy. Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life. I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat thing? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you! All right, so the next phone call is to Jimmy. There we go. Pop, seriously? Tracy hates you. What, because of that Laszlo thing? She should really hate you, because you're the one who told us where she was, you little snitch. Yeah, well, whatever. So, um, Uncle T, man? What's the deal? He's in town for a while. I know we really don't talk about the whole name change thing, but is that, like, cool? I always thought we'd change the name to get away from him. It's fine. Trevor won't hurt you. I know that. Trevor loves me. I'm worried about you. It'll be okay. All right, there we go. So we can also get a unique uh, switch scene by switching straight to Trevor after that. I'm ah, motherfucker! Then we also get another phone call with not the not the emergency services. We don't want to snitch on ourselves. But we also get another phone call with Jimmy as well. Hello? That's all I get. It's me, Jimmy. Uncle Trevor. Oh, Trevor, shit. Wow, hey, hey. Jesus. Your ability to speak goes along with your waistline? You don't need to answer that. Hey, look, seeing as you rolled on your sister so easy, what else you got, Tubbs, huh? I want bank details, contact list, anything and everything your dad's hiding from me. Um, uh, um, uh, ah, uh, 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 Christ, your brain really has softened. You're on downers, aren't you? Cannabis? The things that drug does to people. Don't bag on weed, bro. It's just, it's just, you're making me nervous. <sighs> Bank accounts, Jim. Get them for me. All right, and then we have one more phone call with Franklin, where he's going to call Lamar. And that will be the end of the phone calls for this segment. We'll get a couple more next time we play. All right, now let's call. Where's Lamar? There we go. Oh, I guess I don't have a phone call. Well, when we start playing with him, there will be a phone call with Lamar. Uh, one about him asking, like, why, you know, we went into hiding. Oh. Lester, uh, what's up? The jewels have been fenced, and Michael's angry Mexican friend has been compensated for the house, so I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store job. Good work. All right, cool, man. Good working with you. All right, well, there goes Franklin's cut of the money. All right, then. Well, unfortunately, because there's not uh, a Lamar phone call, even though there should be, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. This is a quite long one, actually. It's over an hour. I know that for a fact. Let me uh, turn the so yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, again, we'll have the next part out tomorrow, same time as usual, 10 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you guys very much again for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Do all the generic crap that YouTube's paid to do at the end of every video. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.